Is there or is there not a ninth planet? Scientists have been meticulously investigating this question for more than 20 years. Once Pluto was the ninth planet of the solar system, but after its demotion to a dwarf planet, we officially have only eight major planets left in the system that at the outermost edge of the solar system, another planet must be, calculated researchers on the basis the orbits of objects of the Kuiper Belt. Nobody has seen the ninth planet, which should have a stately size so far. There were, or are, however, legends around a mysterious further planet, which raises only every few thousand years and then brings evil over the world. Today, we will have a look at the facts and the legends about the mysterious Planet Nine. Before we start, we would like to ask you for your personal contribution after the end of the video. If you are one of the most loyal viewers and subscribers, you will receive a heart from us and a thank you for your imaginative or particularly good comments on the topic. We'll also pin your important post to the top so that everyone reads it first. Make sure you're already subscribed to the channel, give the video a like, mention your subscription at the beginning of your post, and we'll be happy to hear from you. Planet X or Planet Nine for decades, the world of science had already been circulating the rumor that there might be another planet at the far edge of the solar system. When Pluto still had its planetary status, the as yet undiscovered one was called the 10th planet or Planet X. Since Pluto officially ceased to be one of the main planets in 2006, Planet X was given the new epithet Planet 9 already. When the first rumors arose and the media speculated about the possible existence of another mysterious planet, some people associated the undiscovered planet with legends and gloomy prophecies. It was speculated that Planet Nine at the very edge of the solar system was identical to the mystical planet Nibiru. According to old legends, this planet Nibiru, described in ancient writings as diabolical, is supposed to pass by the Earth about every 30,000 years. If the orbits of Nibiru and Earth meet, this would not end well for the Earthlings according to the stories. Facts mixed with legends and the rest was done by the internet. Everyone knew a little bit, others added something, and again others prophesied the end of the world as soon as Planet Nine appears on the radar screens of Earthlings. To say it right away, it is improbable at present that the assumed Planet Nine poses any real danger for the Earth. This planet moves, if it exists, so far away from us around the Sun that we will never notice the influence of its passing. So there is no reason to panic. The possible discovery of another and moreover still large planet could be rather an exciting thing. Is there danger from asteroids? People who expressed concern about the discovery of another planet, while sticking to scientific facts to some extent, argued that Planet Nine's appearance could cause numerous asteroids to be hurled out of the Kuiper Belt into the interior of the star system. These asteroids, or also comets, could be truly destructive projectiles. It has even been speculated that the 15-kilometer asteroid that wiped out the dinosaurs in one fell swoop more than 60 million years ago was due to a passage from Planet Nine. One scientist who has commented on this is physicist and science writer Matthew Francis. He reassured journalists by saying, this is all incredibly far out. With this, Matthew Francis alluded to the Kuiper Belt, which is located at about 7 billion kilometers. Much like the asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter, the Kuiper Belt is a collection of large and small rocks dust, dwarf planets, asteroids, and comets, just as the asteroids and comets between Mars and Jupiter are held in place by the gravitational pull of planets. So it is at the very edge of the solar system. One assumes that only under very rare conditions, once an object from this distance can work its way into the interior of the solar system. It cannot be excluded, but this danger is also not very probable. Up to now, astronomers cannot estimate which influences and forces Planet Nine will really exert if it appears one day. Nevertheless, nobody counts at present on an asteroid bombardment or a mass extinction. The end of the dinos and the associated apocalypse represents a unique event in the history of the Earth. The 15-kilometer asteroid that caused worldwide destruction and a climate catastrophe 
was a major cosmic exception to be considered. If it is true that Planet 9 moves closer to the Sun every 10,000 years, and then also becomes visible, far more tragedies should have occurred in the course of the Earth's history. Does it or does it not exist? The idea that there could be another large planet in the solar system came to astronomers when they observed the orbits of the outermost planets. Already, astronomers of the 19th century conjectured on the basis of the orbits of the known large planets and the then newly discovered Neptune that there must be other planets behind Neptune. This was also confirmed by the discovery of Pluto. Nevertheless, scientists came to the conclusion that Pluto, because of its small size, cannot be responsible for the orbital shifts that indicate the presence of Planet 9. The theory of the ninth planet got new weight since science can observe the bodies in the Kuiper Belt better. So far out in the solar system, it is so dark that only electronic high-performance telescopes or probes can discover something in their direct environment. In the Kuiper Belt, these observations notice smaller and light icy bodies with motion patterns that indicated the presence of a large heavy body. The computational detection of Planet 9 was achieved by the U.S. professor Mike Brown. The man has spent years intensively studying the objects of the Kuiper Belt and found the dwarf planets there that eventually cost Pluto its planetary status. Since then, Mike Brown has been jokingly referred to as the Pluto Killer. The new guidelines for the classification of planets were decided by an international committee of astronomers and cosmologists. On the basis of Professor Mike Brown's calculations, scientists from the University of Bern in Switzerland have created concepts of what this mysterious Planet 9 might look like and what properties it probably possesses. Planet 9 in Numbers The results of the study were published by the journal Astronomy and Astrophysics and found general acceptance. It should be mentioned here, however, once again, that the numbers and data that we present to you now are not proven, but are based only on mathematical assumptions. Planet 9 must be very cold. According to the scientists of the University of Bern, the average temperature of the surface of Planet 9 should be about negative 227 degrees Celsius. The planet would thus not be quite as cold as other objects located so far out in the solar system. The reason for this is the hot core that Planet 9 very likely possesses. According to the study, Planet 9 could consist of a more or less dense atmosphere, a thick layer of gas, an iron core, and a thick separating layer of silicates. Under the layer of silicate rock, the planet probably has a hot iron core, like our Earth. The orbit of the potential ninth planet must be very unusual. According to California scientists, it is 20 times farther from the Sun than Neptune due to a strong ellipse. The planet moves incredibly far away from the Sun, then periodically comes a little closer to it. Planet 9's orbit may even take it outside the previously known boundaries of the solar system. Possibly, the planet once even belonged to another solar system and was deflected and captured by our star three billion years ago. The star system from which it originally came has since moved on. Planet 9 hangs, however, quasi still at us and appears now possibly as a cosmic peculiarity. Or, the planet had originated once in the interior of the solar system and was ejected then by a so far unknown event from the star system. This theory has been disputed so far, but it's quite possible that the discovery of an exoplanet has now confirmed exactly this assumption. More on that in a moment. We'll first look at some more interesting data on the hypothetical Planet 9. Astronomers estimate that it takes between 20,000 and 40,000 years to orbit the Sun. That would make one year on the planet that long, too. And it's clear why no scientist in modern times has seen it. Even today, it is still questionable whether we could really discover it with our technologies. Astronomers already have a vague idea of where it would be, and currently all telescopes capable of this feat regularly peek into this area of the solar system. Observations of Planet 9's likely orbit include those from the ALMA Observatory in Chile and from Hawaii. In 2016, Hawaiian researchers announced that they had sighted an unidentified object with a highly eccentric orbit. The object, tentatively called UO3L91, was located exactly where he suspects the ninth planet to be. According to the professor, Mike Brown, the assumed size of Planet 9 is astonishing. According to calculations, it must be 7.5 times as large 
as the diameter of the Earth. But this would still make it smaller than Jupiter, roughly comparable to the ice giants Uranus and Neptune. Does the exoplanet HD 106906b deliver the proof? Not long ago, the Hubble Space Telescope discovered an exoplanet that is remarkably similar to the assumed behavior of Planet 9. HD 106906b takes 15,000 years to orbit its binary star. This is mainly due to the weak gravitational pull of its stars and the large distance to them. In addition, this exoplanet has a very inclined and elongated orbit, and like Planet 9, it moves through a debris ring at the far edge of its star system. Astronomers from the University of California at Berkeley, however, do not suspect that HD 106906b is a captured exoplanet. Rather, the researchers believe the planet formed within its system and was ejected from a near-star orbit by a cosmic event. HD 106906b's discovery immensely increases the chances that the mysterious Planet 9 really exists, and we should be curious to see if this suspicion will be confirmed in the years to come. This brings us to the end of this video, and now we ask for your input. As previously suggested, we're looking forward to your factual, technical, or simply inspiring opinion surrounding the topic of Planet 9. We're glad you watched today, and we hope to see you back at Simply Space soon.